Hello, I am Science Mom, this is Math Dad, and of course we have Science Puppy or Kaladin right here with us as well. We are super excited. It's been a long time since we've done one of these and hopefully we've got the parents. So first thing I'm gonna say is, those kids who are watching with their parents, I'm watching you. I, you're on the naughty <laughs> list. Um, no, it, it, it's okay. We just wanted science to Science Puppy just pushed a button. Oh, science Puppy, don't do that. Oh no. Wow. It was this one here. He put his chin on it. Okay. Okay. Kaladin <laughs> pushed one of the buttons on our switcher. And so that was what that black screen of darkness was. Fade uh, to black. Well, well done, science puppy. He's had enough of this. <laughs> uh, special shout out to, I see Shannon Wedge, Monica Platt, Kimberly, Trisha O'Brien. Uh, shout out to Esther in Italy, where it is middle of the night. <laughs> it's good to see Science Mom Amber and Liza in the chat. Hello to Corinne, Corinne Bowser and Queen Donut. It's really good to see you guys all. So let's run through just real fast some things about how our course works. Please, um, any questions you have, put them in the chat and we will answer them at the end. We got Paula, Michelle, Hi, Stacey, Stacey, Brittany, Kelly Baker, Wilson, Shannon, yep, Tara Brown. Good crew here today. Thank and you. Thank you for joining us today. Coming from both Facebook and YouTube. All right. So why are we teaching biology? We're actually teaching biology because our viewers asked for it. We were planning to do a pre-algebra course this fall, but we got several emails from people saying, hey, there are lots of math resources out there, but what's hard for us to find is good science resources. And so we did a poll to our patrons and asked which of these classes would you like, and biology was the winner by quite a bit. So we are going to spend a whole year on biology. In this first half, we are covering cells, biomolecules, the diversity of life, physiology, and microbiology. And then in the second half, we'll get to some of the other standards. We are using the next generation science standards. Those are the US standards for um, education in science. And the ones that we have not covered this fall, we're in life science. We'll try and cover those in the spring. Yeah, I, I'm super excited. I've learned a lot in creating these notes. Oh, let's talk about the notes. The notes are enormous, and we made them in 41 days, which I kind of feel like I ought to get a medal because it was, was it intense, Math Dad? It was pretty intense. <laughs> it was intense. It was like 41 days of eight to 10-hour work days almost every day. So these notes are on Teachers Pay Teachers, and for one week, they are going to be free. And we're putting them on Teachers Pay Teachers for free because part of our like our business strategy, our survival now that we're self-employed, is that we need to have some perennial things on Teachers Pay Teachers and that will help people find us and discover us because that's a huge place that people go to for educational resources. So for one week, the notes are free. You can download the entire 108 pages and you can read through them all. You could use them in a classroom, however you would like. And all we're asking is please, if you download them, rate them and leave an honest review. We really want to get some reviews on there and then there'll be a purchase item after September 1st. So Monica says that she was gonna award you a medal, so. Oh, yay, thank you, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> and Science Mom Liza just dropped the link in there so that, and we'll put the link in the description afterwards too and I'll be sharing it on social media. So if you use Teachers Pay Teachers, please go ahead and download the notes and give them a rating, and they're also on our Patreon page. Yeah. So the vast majority of people who are watching are, are probably pe parents of students who are in our biology class, but there might be others there as well. But by all means, throw your questions in the chat. We'll either see it live or we'll, we'll come back at the end. The moderators are trying to, to capture those for us. All right, let's talk about the platform we're using. So, so Zoya right now is asking us, uh, is there a live class at 11 o'clock and one o'clock Eastern time? Yes, so we are going to have two sessions of biology and you can choose which session you would like to attend. And if you normally attend the afternoon one at 1 p.m. Eastern and you have a doctor's appointment or something and say, hey, it doesn't work for me to go in the afternoon, you wanna come earlier at 11, you totally can. You can choose which one to attend. And if you are watching the recordings afterwards, watching the replays, you can watch one or, or both. We will also have an afternoon session in, oh, Math Dad, that was pretty slick. Yeah, there's the Teachers Pay Teachers page. Just, yes. Just, just showing it off. Awesome. And if you'll pull up our, our Teachable page next, we should show them our Teachable page. All right. 
So we had several people who were going back, their students, were, their kids were going back to school, but they said, you know, if there was any way that you could do an afternoon session, we would really appreciate that. So we have said that we would be doing one at 4 p.m., but 4 p.m. Eastern time is 1 p.m. Pacific time. And the reason we picked that time was because for our own kids, you know, we have kids too, and we wanted to be sure that we were there for them in the afternoons. But now that we've had a week of school with our kids and are kind of getting our feet under us, we, you know, we could do later. So we have a, a poll in Teachable. And if you're signed up for the course, and especially if your students are, your kids are in school, in-person school, and you want to be catching a live stream once a week in the afternoon, let us know if you prefer 5 p.m. to 4 p.m. I'll, I'll show you that in just a moment. So right here, this is the course page, the Teachable. This is what it will look like when you log in, and hopefully by now, most most of you have done that. So right here, you can click to download the notes. Uh, in the near future, hopefully by the first day of class, we will actually have solutions posted here as well that yes. can be downloaded. Um, although those are backups. We, we, we always worry that people will go straight to the solutions instead of trying the But an the answer problem. key is helpful. I just, I haven't made the answer key yet. That's right. You'll also see a virtual meetups page. So down here it will load. Uh, I might be in the student preview, so it's not loading, but it should load a list of sessions that you can join next week. We're just having live virtual meetups. The last 20 to 25 minutes is just a chance for a small group to get to know each other. We'll have some fun poll questions. We'll play a few games. It'll be just a fun fun kind of icebreaker way to meet a couple other students in the class and to get to see us face to face. That's right, because typically during a live stream, we're not able to interact nearly as much as we'd like to, and that, that'll just give us a chance to put some names to faces. And then temporarily, this will really only be up here tonight, or well, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll keep it up for a day or two. We'll have it up for a little while. But uh, eventually I will dispose of the evidence of, of this section. But there is a little poll here. So we've got the, the links to tonight's show, but then we, we will run two sessions, each of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's the 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock Eastern time, Eastern time sessions. But on Mondays, we, we've been saying 4 o'clock p.m. We would Eastern time, we would run another. And, but, it, and but it, it occurred to us, well, we actually are flexible enough to do it at 5 o'clock instead. And we just wanted to ask and get some feedback. That might include more people if we do it a little later. Yes. And then uh, real quick, I want to answer, um, answer a question I saw from Paula right now. So the, the Zoom meetup, that's only the first week. After that first week, the class is not a Zoom class. So after that first week, the classes will be, they'll be hosted on YouTube and on our Teachable page here, um, you, you will click and you will see a list. And as we add sessions, you will just see the videos populate there. And then you can choose to watch them with or without a chat. In fact, why don't you, can you head math dad to the Yeah, let me, let me see if I can there. get there. So you can watch them with or without a chat. And when you click on, when you log into Teachable and you'll see the lectures listed, then you click on that lecture and you can play it inside Teachable or you can click, you know, watch on YouTube and then that will bring it up with the chat. Okay, so here it is with a little bit more content. Everything is in draft mode, so it's not, oh. I mean, I didn't publish it. Okay. Well, <laughs> at any rate, what you'll see at the typical beginning of the week is a, a post from us. In the past, we've sent this out as an email, and we might continue to, to do so if we we'll try to figure we'll, out how, we'll how send our platform a, a works. A few emails as we're starting, but, but, we, but it will all be located in this one location. In the past, we've had problems with email filters catching things, and we just don't want to deal with that. You don't want to deal with that. Yeah, we want you to be able to find all of the classes easily and not have to rely on a, a weekly email. Yeah. So for example, in this post, we mentioned that in week one, we'll be doing an experiment using a laser pointer. And I realize not everyone has one of those sitting around, so we'd remind you that a laser pointer would be good and talk about different types of laser pointers. And we strongly recommend parental oversight when playing with laser pointers. And But then also, after that, uh, and oh no, there we go. Now you can see the the meetup section. Oh, well, the meetup there. showed up, but where did my other stuff? You, you can tell we haven't live streamed in a, in a uh -huh. while, you guys. Well, here's, here's my other. <laughs> We're thing. out of practice. So, so what what you'll see? There it is. Um, because there are two sessions. There will be an, the eleven o'clock session, 
and a one o'clock session, it'll be the same content for both. That there's no point in showing up to both lessons unless you yeah. really want to learn it well. Yeah, I um, mean, if you enjoy the repetition, you can. <laughs> But we will we will play the same pre-recorded video at the beginning of each one, and then we'll go through the same activities and the same questions in each session. So the sessions are the same. So if you're watching it live and the kids have questions, they can type them into the chat. So what I think most people will do is rather than just watch it in this window, there's a watch on YouTube link. If you can see my little tiny mouse there near the center. Um, pretty much anytime you embed a YouTube video, that, that's going to appear. Mm -hmm. And you can open it up in a larger browser, give you a bigger interface. And as part of that, then the chat window will be available. Uh, often we're able to answer questions as we go. Um, but if we don't, the moderators record the questions so that we can answer them later. So that yes. we were usually able to answer most of the big questions. And later. Crystal asked a great question. Do you need a YouTube account then? If you want to participate and ask questions in the chat, yes, you need to have a, a Google account to participate in, in YouTube in the chat. But that's not a required part of the course. And we have a lot of students who watch the recordings and don't participate in the chat. And that's a perfectly good way to participate in the course as well. If you have questions that come up that don't get answered, you can always email us as well. And sometimes at the end of a, a, a class, we'll bring in questions that came into our email inbox too. That's right. During class, we, we will have polls that we do live. And that will actually require you to open up yet another tab to be able to answer those questions. We, we will be using item pool just like we did last time. Yep. Yeah. Most, most, yeah. Our feedback from item pool has been quite, quite positive. So the YouTube channel is the same as last year, but we're not going to publicly publish these videos. Not all of them. So the first section, the on cells, that one will be posted publicly on our YouTube channel. And we will post the recording of one of the sessions publicly. And then the last section of the course, microbiology, will also post all of those publicly. Um, but the, the other three sections are, are going to be only available as part of the course. Good, good questions coming in. Yes. All right. Is we, it fine if my kid just uses my Google account? Yes, let, let them use whatever account you want. You can get, they like to choose funny nicknames like Snow Cone Head. Um, <laughs> yeah. You, you, no, we've never had anyone with that name. But, <laughs> but yeah, the, different handles can, can be popular, but it can be your account. That's totally fine. We, do, we don't post the chat um, on, on the replay. We, we have it hidden. And then our chats are moderated. And that brings us to our next and rather exciting thing. Because we're opening up more sessions, we would love to recruit some more moderators. So if you are interested in being one of our moderators in our chat, um, it comes with a, uh, you get free access to the course if you're a moderator and a Science Mom Squad hoodie. Um, email me at jenny at science.mom if you're interested because we would really, we could really use a couple additional moderators. Okay, question from Danielle says, um, so these live sessions are twice a day, are they posted afterwards? Get the same link. Whether you watch it live or watch it later, the, the exact can, same. Yeah, you can location. access all of it on Teachable. And then the cells and the microbiology sections, those will be on our YouTube channel and our website as well. And you do not need to download anything for item pool. We'll just provide a link where you can just click on it and you'll be able to answer the poll questions. Yep. And, right. and it'll be the same link for the entire course as well. So you'll probably have it memorized by the end. That's right. Um, let's see. So can kids be the moderators? Unfortunately, no. No, but no, we, we require adults to be the moderators and we have, oh, you guys, I love our moderators. Shout out to Science Mom Liza, Science Mom Krista, Science Mom Jody, Science Mom Amber, and Science Mom Jamie. Our moderators do an amazing job of keeping our chat safe and keeping it on topic so that it's not distracting. Having said that, some people just even if the chat is on topic, they prefer to watch without, and that's totally fine. It is up to you whether you use the chat and and whether, yeah. Michelle, yes, you will have access to the course forever. Yep. And Stacy asked, please ex explain what a moderator does. So the moderator is in YouTube, and they are approved. I give them permission to moderate, which means that they are able to hide comments. They're able to put people in timeout or to block them from the channel. And we have a three strikes and you're out rule if, um, we, and we'll go over rules at the beginning of class for you making sure that you're respectful and that you're staying on topic. 
and not spamming the chat. And then if someone is not following those rules, you give them a warning. And if they don't heed that warning, then you put them in timeout. And if someone is in timeout three times during the course, then they're banned from the chat. So, so uh, Marla, you're too busy to take the course now, but you're wondering about taking it in the spring. And Absolutely. Yeah, that, that, that will work just fine. All the recordings will still be available. We might try to clean things up a little bit, but we, we want to leave the course up as something people can sign up for later. Yep, and you will have access to the recordings long term. And can we still purchase supplies for the course through us? No. So sorry, Devin. <laughs> we, um, we are very passionate science educators. We are still learning the business side of it. We had our 14, our 15 year old help us go through as just an exercise. Let's figure out exactly what we spent on supply boxes and exactly what we earned. And total, we earned like $20 for selling. No, no, it was about we $200, but it was in like, <laughs> eight men now or eight yeah. days worth of, if of we, work. If we paid ourselves minimum wage when we were putting together the boxes, we lost money. So boxes are all sold. We're super happy that we provided them, but they were not a money-making thing for us. We're not going to make any more. So but Paula asks, will there be a, another course in the spring that we can sign up for the separate? That's exactly right. So yes. we do plan to offer a, a separate biology two course. We'll get into more of the macrobiology. We'll hit some of the genetic stuff that we didn't fit into this semester, it was kind of hard to really break up biology into micro and macro, so we kind of quit trying and... Yeah, it's a big topic, but we're, we're excited to keep exploring it in the spring. All right, we did want to do a, we want to do a giveaway as well. And so we have a link for a form you can fill out that is just your name and your email address, and then Math Dad is gonna generate random numbers. We have three printed copies of the notes with um, a little science journal and a whole bunch of stickers that we are going to be giving out. And we also have some fun giant microbes. These, we'll be using several of these just as visual aids throughout the course. And we want to um, give away three of these. So go ahead and just fill in that form if you would like to enter for our giveaway oh, and then. Did, did the form link get pasted? I believe. Uh -oh. I, I, I don't know, the, the moderators have access to the link, but I, I didn't well, see it. We'll give you a few minutes before we start randomly generating numbers. Okay. And now I'm gonna... So is, is biology to a separate fee? Yes, it, it's a, a whole new course. Yep, it will be a completely new course. Um, oh, it looks like an error occurred with pasting our form. Hopefully, well, hopefully it's good. gone through now. Let us know if you have any questions. And oh, about supplies. There is a supply list on page five of the notes. You can see the date of each experiment and all of the su recommended supplies. I will say if you don't have supplies, like for example, the very first one is a laser pointer microscope, which is a really cool activity. The laser can be red or green, really doesn't matter, but um, lower power laser is better than a higher power laser and definitely do adult supervision with this one. But if you don't have a laser pointer, it's perfectly fine to save that activity for later, come back and do it later, or just observe with the video that we do about it. And for the Petri dishes, if you don't have agar, you can use gelatin. Um, if you prefer not, you know, if you say you have a beef allergy and don't want to be using gelatin or beef bouillon, um, you could use pieces of bread and do a mold experiment that way. We have a couple substitutions that can be done. So All right. the link did post Yay. in the chat here, so everybody should be. Thank you, Kath, for letting me know that it's working. Yeah, so jump in, fill it out really quickly, and then we'll, we'll get and to that poll. We'll do our giveaway. And if you have any other questions that we haven't gotten to, please put them in the chat, and we will we will answer any questions you have. And I agree, Stacy. These microbes are like one of my favorite things. In fact, that's like the real reason why we didn't make money on our supply boxes was because I could not limit myself <laughs> with how many microbes I was putting in. And Serge kept saying, we could just do one box of microbes. And I was like, no, 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 they need three. They need three <laughs> sets of microbes because they're so cute. They are. But also right. in, entirely optional. One, one doesn't they, need them for the course. They are very optional. And I should also say that we are not sponsored by Giant Microbes. They're a completely independent, non-affiliated company but they make really cute stuff. <laughs> oh man, they are fast. We've got 87 people signed up already for awesome. this giveaway. Awesome, We will give you just an, another minute or two before we draw our three winners, and then we will mail those out um, right away. All right. Hello to Emily and Rory. 
Alicia Zan. It is so it's so fun to see all these names, many of which are familiar to us from doing quarantine and our previous shows. Thank you for joining us, you guys. Indeed. Um, and yeah, it was pointed out. So in the notes, the supply list is on page oh, number five. Yes, and I did see one question I saw earlier that we didn't didn't answer. So someone was asking about missing pages. If you printed out the notes right away after we posted them, there was no page eighty eight to ninety eight to ninety nine listed here. The pages were not missing. I just hadn't updated the numbers here. So I posted a correction and the link that you have in Teachable, if there's ever anything in the notes you're unsure about, you can check that and that version is most updated. But yeah, we posted a little note here just to update the page numbers so they match. Oh. Um, and I'm, we're probably preaching to the crowd here because you only found out about this if you, you had your settings right. But in Teachable, some people joined and then said, no emails for me. But that also makes it so that we can't contact you directly. So you might want to get into your profile settings and allow emails to come. But even if, yeah, even if you don't get emails or don't want emails, you should be able to find everything once class starts just by going to that homepage. And then quick um, answer for April, class will be at 11 a.m. And then there's a second session at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So you can attend either one. They're going to be the same session, just repeated. And then we also have an afternoon session for um, students who are going back to in-person school and really wanted to have a once a week live class. And that will be at either 4 or 5 p.m. depending on what our students vote for. So if you have a preference, go and, and vote in Teachable. Okay, so, so the table of contents is all that would need to be reprinted. Uh, there are a few typos here and there that we're finding. Um, there was one actually big one that where we, we used. We, we made, yeah, we made an announcement and we will, we will, we'll, we can go over those, those again, but but yeah, if you want to reprint it, you can. You can also just cross out the last, it's only these, these pages right here that needed to be adjusted. But yeah, the table of contents, and then on page um, 91, um, I mis mistyped and put varicella when I meant to say vaccinia for a virus. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really the only, the only correction. All right, Science Mom, we have 107 people. Are we, re are we ready for our first giveaway item? I think we are ready. All right, so what are we giving away first? We've got, got, to, we've got to declare that, hold it up, yes. and then we'll do it. And a quick shout out to Crystal who says, it's easier to change the setting for emails when you are not on a mobile phone. And we've found that to be true with every aspect of Teachable. Teachable is designed to be used on a desktop computer, and the mobile is sometimes a little trickier. They actually have an app. If I haven't tried it, I can't tell you anything about it. All right, first giveaway box is going to be a printed set of the notes, spiral bound, a science journal and stickers, and these little blood microbes. All three? All three. Okay. So. And okay. our random number is? Uh, about to be generated um, out of 108. Drum roll. The number is 40. 40. Okay, so And person. so now MathDad is pulling up our spreadsheet, which we will not show you because we don't want to put everyone's name and email up on a public video. Trisha O'Brien. Trisha O'Brien is the lucky winner. Right, I will so. email you as soon as our live stream ends so that you can send us your address and we will mail you that <laughs> giveaway item. Congratulations, Trisha. Next, huh? next winner. All right, next, what are we giving away? We are giving away pretty much the same thing, notes, science journal, but this time, instead of blood cells, it is plagues of the 21st century. Oh, the plague microbes. Yes, the plague microbes. Okay, so now we are up to 109 people, so I will up my random number generator, and 87. 87 is the winning, winning number, so. 87 is Danielle Giordano. Danielle Giordano. Donald. Apologies yep. if I did not pronounce your name correctly. We will send you an email Danielle. as soon as we are done. <laughs> and then last. We've got plagues for you. <laughs> but they're really cute plagues. And last but not least, we have another set of notes and journal and this cute little trio of mumps, rubella, and measles. Oh, the MMR shots. The yes. Measles, mumps, rubella. Measles, mumps, and rubella. And um, Michelle asked, what is the science journal? It is just, it says, it's a little journal I designed. Science is magic that works inside. It's all blank pages. Okay, so we now have still 109 people. Still Our 109 people. random number is 38. 38. 38. 
one of the times we did a giveaway like this, we picked the random the number was one. The random number was one, which I thought was kind of cool. All it's right, never so happened since. I've got Hania Bawahab. Say it again. Hania. Hania Bawahab. Hania, congratulations. No, no doubt I've butchered that name, but congratulations. And we will send emails to those three winners. We have one more thing we're giving away that is not um, a science journal. And I see um, a couple people asked it, asked, can the microbes be purchased somewhere? Yes, giantmicrobes.com. If you Google it, they have hundreds of different varieties. Someone else asked, can I buy a science journal? Yes, email me and I will send you a link. And then last but not least, we have a little sticker pack that has these adorable enamel pins and a whole bunch of stickers. And this one is actually a welcome pack that we send to new $20 patrons when they sign up on Patreon. So if you want one of these and don't win, that's how you can get one. Let's go ahead and draw a number. Okay, nice. 110 people now. Our random number, random number is, is 81. 81. And we have more than, how many stickers do we have in here? Lindsay Huskins. Lindsay, Lindsay, we are sending you enamel pins and stickers. And if you would like, we'll also throw in a printed copy of the notes and a science journal. So, yeah. so congratulations to our winners. Um, Woohoo! Yeah. And Devin says, it's comforting that others need the microbes too. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's my reaction when I see these. I'm like, they're. They're educational, they're adorable, they're plushy and cute. There are even all. lots of other ones besides the ones in, in these boxes. Yeah. There are. It's a dangerous website to visit because you will probably purchase more than you should like I did. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if anyone... I want to yeah, make sure we got through all our questions. I'm super excited just to see the excitement in, in the chat here. Um, yes. Oh, and Mayana asks, if, should we email now if we're willing to moderate? Yes, please. Email me if you're interested in moderating, and I will get back to you either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. And by all means, include some background about, yes. about yourself. And, and your availability. If it's something you feel like you could do regularly, or if you just might be able to pop in now and then, let us know. You, you want to explain that again one more time? So we, we were after a few more moderators to, to help us. We've got some moderators who help to monitor the chat, to redirect conversation and keep people on task and I'll keep track of the good questions so that we can answer mm -hmm. them because we're not able to see all the comments as the class goes. Correct. So typically I rely on the moderators to answer questions as we're going and I might glance at the chat from time to time, but I, I will get distracted if I'm trying to read the chat the entire time that I'm teaching. But then while the moderators are interacting in the chat and answering questions, they have a Google Doc open and they will take questions and put them in that Google Doc. And then at the end, after we do poll questions, I look at the Google Doc and answer the questions the moderators put in. So in a nutshell, that's how it works. Ha ha, oh, I'm so excited to see that it looks like several people are interested in moderating. Thank you. And can we right. link to Teachable through your website if we no longer have the registration Yes. Email? Oh, Courtney, that's a great question. So if you are having any difficulty at all getting into Teachable, please don't hesitate to email us. Um, if you go to sciencemom.teachable.com, you should see a little button in the top right corner that says login. And if you've lost your password or have any difficulty logging in, don't hesitate to email us. We'll help you figure it out. Yeah. But yeah, once you've got that site bookmarked, after this first week or two, I'm hopeful that we'll yes. get used to it. And the first day that we teach, if there's any difficulty getting on, the best way to find help is to message Science Mom Krista on Facebook, because we obviously are teaching. We can't check our email until after class. Um, and then Michelle has another great question. What time is the small group virtual meetup? The small group virtual meetups, we have about eight or nine different times to choose from. And if all those time slots fill up, we will add additional ones. So I think currently they're in the afternoons, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. Um, but if they all fill up, we will add more and you just pick whichever one works for you. And if your child is so sick of Zoom, they can't stand Zoom any longer because they had too much of it last year, they don't need to do the small group virtual meetup. It is an optional thing that is just for fun to see us face to face and to get to see some of the fellow students. So th th this is what the sign up page looks like once you've logged into Teachable. You, you can scroll through and some of the sessions have actually filled up already. I wish it would tell us how many were left in each one. It, it doesn't on your view, but- uh, we, we, we get that information. Yeah, later in the week, 
they have not yet filled up pl plenty of slots available and we would open up more if needed and we even have some on saturday yes. we, we realized that and um colleen says that the meetups aren't loading on teachable if you, they aren't loading email us we have another link we can send you if oh. for some reason it's not working i don't even know what it is i'm going to type it into the chat right now math dad's typing into the chat right now and then, yeah, the email for potential moderators is jenny at science.mom. Um, Melinda asks, is this okay for a fourth grader? We have a lot of fourth and fifth graders enrolled. We are covering sixth, seventh, and eighth grade science standards, middle school science standards. But if, you're, if your student already knows, kind of has an understanding of like what, what elements are, what molecules are, um, some of those concepts that we'll be talking about, they should, they should do just fine. And then we, it'll be pretty similar to classes we've done in the past. Yeah, the best way to, to gauge is to watch our earth science lectures. And if the earth science lectures are about the right level, then it should be a good fit. Yeah, maybe aiming a little higher than that, but yeah. Yeah. And then I did see someone ask, what about these little pins? Where can we get those? Um, they are something that we made for our patrons. So if you join us on patreon.com slash science mom, um, the $20 you, tier, um, we send out a little welcome pack with these. We do not have them available for sale elsewhere. So Michelle, that is correct. You just signed up for one of the, the meetups. Yep. Whichever one fits your schedule and it'll be a chance for you to meet us and also some fellow classmates. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. This has been really fun for us to see so many familiar names in the chat and to, to talk with you about our class. We are super excited to be teaching biology. Mm -hmm. So is, is the course available for the program public? So I, I think you're asking, are we going to release everything oh. for free? And this is the first course where we're not going to release all of the videos. Yeah. We, we will share some of them. But I, I, I wish we could. We are releasing a third of the course for free. The cells unit and the microbiology unit will both be posted, open source, freely available, and we'll put them in a variety of different places. You'll be able to find them on our website, on YouTube, on Teachers Pay Teachers, on um, Lab Exchange, um, the educational program through Harvard, we'll put them lots of different places. But the the bulk of the course, you know, we, we need to be sure that we can pay our science bomb squad and pay our bills and things like that. So the bulk of the course will be available on Teachable and will not be not be open source. All right, Esther in Italy is off to bed. It's you, Ciao, you've Esther. <laughs> Ciao, Esther. Thank you for joining us. Katie, we'll, we'll end by just kind of reading off names, doing some quick shout outs. If you have a question we didn't answer, feel free to email us. So how should parents do grading? Or Ooh. We have several quizzes um, in the course. So I would say um, grading, you could have them have them do the item pool if you're watching the replay the item pool will actually grade it as they do it as they we have five questions with each lecture and it will tell them whether they got it right or wrong and then give them the quizzes that we have in the book and then grade them with the answer key that would be a great way to do it yep yep all right all right and then, oh, Jesse has a great question. So, sorry, one more question before we say goodbye. How do we share the content for um, with friends who haven't signed up for our courses yet? So, I would say the our notes being available for free on Teachers Pay Teachers would be a great thing to share because then someone who is considering the course but isn't sure about signing up, they can look through and get a really good idea of what we're going to cover because the notes are pretty. Um, I, I wouldn't say they're quite standalone because you you. They're designed to go with a video lecture, but you can really tell what we're covering by taking a look at the notes. That's right. And checking out our website. So science.mom is our website. We've got the earth science course, the chemistry course there, freely available, the links, the yes. polls, you can, the whole, whole kit and caboodle is there. And Emily asks, if we want to take biology next year, should we buy now or will the pre-recorded be offered? It's, it will be available for purchase next year, but... Um, so either way, I don't know. I part of me wants to be like, buy now, support us now. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever works for you, it, it will be available. It will be. So you, you can purchase it next year as well. Or if you buy it now, you'll still have access to all the recordings next year. Either way. And um, Colleen says, trying to send it for a meetup, they show full. Um, go ahead and email us, Colleen. We'll help you. We'll help you figure it out. The, the, there are several that are not full yet. There are, and if they all fill up, we will add additional ones. 
All right, thank you for joining us, Shannon. Um, I'm gonna ask our moderators yeah. to toss that link to Teachers Pay Teachers in YouTube, and we'll put it, we'll post it in the description as well. Um, Danielle, so excited that your girls are excited for the class. We are too. Thanks for joining us, Megan and Tracy, and the Elite Force, Science Mom Liza. It is good to see you guys. Thank you for coming, Emily and Jesse King. Megan, yeah. and if there are any questions that we didn't answer that you that you have, feel free to email us at jenny at science.mom. Got Kaladin's kind of taking a nap here, but I want him to come say goodbye. He will say goodbye. <laughs> Did Math Dad ever do a pre-algebra class? We decided not to. We decided that biology, We're doing biology would, instead. would meet the needs of everyone. So no pre-algebra as of yet. We'll see what the future brings. That's right. Work hard, grow smart, and we will see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.